Hey, how's it going? Well, yeah, I haven't bothered to put the nose ring back in. I'm thinking of maybe even just not having it anymore. If I'm going to be moving to somewhere that has a lot of conservative types, um, I don't know. Anyway, um, but we'll see. I, I don't know. It's just been, it's just been, been more of a pain lately. When I had it out, it's just like, oh, wow, I can blow my nose without these problems, and I can do all this without worrying about some issue with the nose ring. If, if I got into a fight, someone isn't going to go yank, you know. Um, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, but, the people who are just continuing to promote this idea that we should, we should use the sociological definitions of words, you know, and, uh, you know, we, it, and they, some people try to say, well, those are the real definitions, and we shouldn't pay attention to the dictionary definitions. I'm like, wow. And then there are some that say, well, you know, the dictionary definitions are still are, are still valid, but we really need to, to consider the sociological ones. And I'm like, no, no. And the reason for this is so many people, okay, so many people like... 99.9% .9 of people use the dictionary definitions of these, these words. Words like racism, sexism. And when... It, you see, this is what happens, okay? People can make statements like, black people can't be racist. It doesn't matter whether they're referring to the sociological definition. Okay, when they make that statement, people hear it as black people. It's not possible for black people to have prejudices and biases and against white people and treat white people badly. It's not possible. And then it it's usually gets mixed in with a message about. Um, the way that black people have been treated in the past, and slavery will get brought up. So that pretty much gets translated to people saying, well, no, uh, it's not possible for black people to be racist against white people because um, um, black people have the right to get back at white people for what their ancestors may or may not have done. That's what it translates to. You say, but that's wrong, but that's wrong. Then don't say that black people can't be racist. But do you know why people say that? Because these new definitions, these new definitions were designed to pretty much rip apart our society. Okay, our, our words are very important. And if you, and, and yes, words, the, the meanings of words can be fluid. Words can be fluid. But when, when someone goes out of their way to change words for a very ideological purpose, you're going to cause damage. And that's what's going on right now. And people can say, well, well, don't discount it. I will discount it, okay? The fact that those definitions still aren't in the dictionary should tell you everything you need to know. People hear a word, they look it up in the dictionary, and they're like, okay, so this is what you're saying. If those words aren't in, those words, those definitions aren't in the dictionary, don't use them to the general public, you fucking idiot. But you keep on doing it, and then you wonder why people get mad, you wonder why people misinterpret your message. Well, if they just study sociology, yeah, if someone would just read the Bible, they'd understand that when someone says you're going to burn in hell for eternity, that that's really not a, a bad thing for them to say to you, right? Same shit. Oh, well, you've got to know all the context for this crappy thing that I'm saying. I understand that what a lot of these people are saying sound totally different when you know the context. The problem is, 
Most people don't know the context. And you're not going to teach the people that context instantly. They just hear these buzzwords and they're like, holy shit, that's anti-white. It's not anti-white. It is if you go by the regular definitions. Well, they need to get educated. Idiocy. Utter fucking idiocy. I, I can't stress how fucking idiotic it is. This also gives you a convenient excuse to claim that anyone who disagrees with you is ignorant and potentially stupid. Very convenient. Okay? And this all stems from changing the definitions of words in a very particular way. The people that originally started this knew exactly what they were doing. And it's sad. 